Just uh, making some pens here and all. What? And how are you now? Oh, not bad. So. I was working away on this here yesterday, or last night, I guess, in between calf checks. Um, yesterday morning, I did a little clip on my phone there. Well, it was like a five minute clip, and I would have had part of a video for you to put up, but I got the hitch on here. Yes, it's crooked. I'll tell you about that in a minute, but anyways, I, uh, I, was saying I was feeding cows and moving them around and I had Maggie helping me not in the cat food and so on and she got the cows out of the crawl for me just mint so anyway I was saying that I had to go to Princess Auto and I picked up some new tires and new rims for this uh, AI trailer um, we got some hubs 1750 pounds each I picked this up for the hitch um, what else did I get I guess that's it bullshit with my buddy there and yeah so anyway we got the hitch on here last night I wasn't gonna I was gonna video but I'll just throw some other clips in here I got to uh, that's gonna be interesting doing that so First, I'll tell you about the hitch. I got the tractor warming up here to do chores. So, if you look at the hitch, it's crooked. And I was talking to Shane Holtz the other night, and he says instead of driving the truck all the way over to keep that uh, extender out, he said, "Why don't you just offset your hitch a little bit?" So I offset it about. What the hell was it? I can't remember. It doesn't much matter, but uh, anyways, the the how I did it was I put the tape measure on there, and I measured across eight foot six because that's what we are at the back, eight and a half feet total. And this part here, from the outside to outside, is seven feet. So center on eight foot six is four foot three. So I stuck my chunk of tubing here and right at four foot three i come straight out here you go boys son of a bitch if you uh don't have a bushing you can't find a piece of pipe that'll fit just make your own make your own Woo! nice so this is uh hot <laughs> She's toasty. Where's my pliers? Uh, right here. So, here's the bushing we're going to use. And weld that some bitch into the... Uh, I'm going to have to clean it up yet. Sorry, I'm just kind of going all over. Don't know where to put this hot bastard. So there we go. So now this bushing, i got to make two of these. Uh, that's going to get cut into the uh, piece that lifts up so basically like this is what we're going to end up making so the bushing is going to get put into here and then that pin is going to get welded into the bottom frame so then this assembly will just slide onto it gotcha gotcha okay so this one i'll try to show you what i did to make this um so i cut the piece here Got it cut, I'm gonna shine up the old shaft here. There. So now, I just uh, take this MIG here, cause it's right close, that's what I like. Pro point again. Jeez, the shop is full of this stuff. So. What I did last time, ee, that's hot on that end. 
is just tack this like this uh, make sure it's square because when you start bending you might get off an angle like this and next thing you know you got kind of a cinnamon roll looking thing but uh, anyways I'll get this tacked up and bring you back here so so I was gonna say kind of looks like a little flag now but anyways um, this technique will work for any size of shaft but when you go to tack it make sure you tack it on the sides so when you get your pipe around you can actually cut those tacks off that's the only way you'll be able to get those out if you put them in here and then you weld the pipe over now you've gone and welded your bushing to your pin not a good idea you don't want to do that so do it on the sides okay I'm gonna fire up the torch and I'll bring you back Try to set you up here somewhere. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, I'll just go like this and off. So what you do is just keep getting it red hot. You, all the mill scale will melt off. And uh, don't try to heat up here because you'll start bending up there. So bend heat down here where you want to bend. But uh, I thought I could find a place to set you guys, and I can't. So. Maybe Princess Auto will send me a tripod. That would be nice. There you have her, boys. Just got to run a little bead down there, grind the tacks off, and hopefully she'll come off of there. See you in a bit. And just like that, so you lay a bead down here, but you got to make sure, too, when you have these folded over like that, uh, when you lay that bead down here that you turn your welder a little bit colder so that you don't put your penetration and get it stuck onto that shaft uh, The best part about using the The harder the harder the steel the more heat it's going to take to make a pen to make it penetrate so There we go two bushings Just got to be cleaned up and I can stick them in there later um, They're gonna be like I said, I couldn't find any freaking pipe. I found some shit like this, and that was too big. See, I didn't like that much, and uh, I don't know. I think this is going to work just fine. Just fine. So that bolt and that pin are the same size. So, whoops. Anyway. That's good. I'm going to use a bolt for one, and then I'm going to use the uh, use the uh, pin for the other one. But uh, i got to run to town here for a quick minute. I've got no cows ready to calve yet that I can notice, so I'll go get some ready, and uh, I'll be back in a little bit. Hey, freaking grinder. So we got the bushings welded in. Uh, I didn't weld them too hot because I want to cut um, well it's going to be this shit three by a quarter and I want to run a four inch plate across here both sides and blow a hole in it and then I'll weld the bushing to that so basically it's going to sandwich like this one piece here one piece on that side and then that's done and then I'm going to cut a, another four inch piece to lay across here like so and then I'm gonna tack the hub to it like this to that plate because that will be a lot stronger and help uh, uh, strengthen up just the tubing by itself so then when I get that done and make sure that that hub is square on here I'm gonna cut little little triangles like this and I'll see if I can get this to sit up here something like that and then I'll cut triangles four of them one there one there here here and uh, that'll help strengthen that up because it might want to try to twist the tubing just the force of it and I'm not sure if I'm gonna put the axle underneath when I put it on the trailer or put it over top I don't know yet um, I'm gonna have to take these nuts off and put it in the rim and then I can see how close I can uh, get the tire to this tubing. You know what I mean? Not so bad. One and done. Nice. 
Nice, boys. Watch out, Billy. It's hot there. You dummy. There we go. She's all welded up. I gotta do that one yet. And then we gotta mount that uh, stub shaft on here next. So, anyway, all I done here's that's what she looks like, not being welded up. That's what it looks like welded up. <clears throat> Morning, guys. Oh, she was a long night. So last night I was out here. I came out and did a calf check at 10:30. And noticed there was a cow, the one that we put it that I put in the shed yesterday, and she was making herself quite the nest. So I thought, oh, she's probably gonna calf tonight. So I thought, well, instead of going in the house and trying to sleep for an hour, because that would be dumb, uh, I'd just come out here and work on these axles and stuff. So what I did was I mounted these axles onto these sway bars or what the heck you want to call them cantilevers kind of thing so i got that on i gotta come in here with my half moon file and clean the spatter out so the pins go in nicely uh i did about a six pass on here on the axle we put a gusset on the back i put that plate on i was telling you about maybe i didn't tell you about it i was just thinking it and six pass here Got some nice good penetration because the axle was hot. Welded that there. And on the front, we put a nice little gusset there too just to help for uh, torque going that way. So what I done was I left the hub on here, laid the tire on its face, dropped the hub into the rim, blocked it up with uh, a half an inch gap because I used two, two pieces of quarter inch on either side, blocked the pipe up. And uh, that's how I tacked it on my line. I, I put a line and I did it with the square so I knew the axle would be fairly straight. And then when I dropped that onto the tire, that pretty well trued it up, I hope. I hope it's going to be straight. So, anyways, last night we I came out at 10.30, fucked around with this stuff, checked that cow, went back over at midnight. And I thought, oh, geez, she's going to calf tonight. So... That's a first for us. We've never had a calf in the middle of the night like that before. I would uh, say too here, this, um, this cow is one of the nuttier ones out of the bunch. And her calf will be bred to Ferdinand. So we'll probably end up keeping her. She's a heifer. And uh, we'll get rid of that cow in the fall too with that those couple other couple other nutty bastards so anyway put you in the bird hole just kidding i'll just shut you down here i'll be back in a minute all right well i gotta go to or i'm on my way to town uh, i'm gonna grab a bite to eat real quick and i have to grab a inch and a quarter pin that one pin i was going to use for the uh uh, rocker arm or pivot arm whatever you want to call it cantilever <laughs> uh, to hold the wheel on I look down and it's a little bit bent so I don't really want that uh, I'm just gonna run into the Sherwood co-op here in Indian Head and see uh, see what I can find if they got one I text my buddy that owns the mechanic shop in town welding stuff where I get all my gas and whatnot and uh, he said they don't have any. They sold all the pins in the auction. So I'm gonna have to stop at the coop and see what I got. See you in a few. Well, that's a fucking brainiac place to park. Anyways, I got a pin. Oh yeah, I can pull out on the highway here. I got a, got a pin. And then you got fucking dickheads like this. Jesus, man. Fuck it, pull in town, you wing nut. Tyson, you need some cones or what? Got lots here, buddy. Got lots here. Vail Industries, engine head. Give him a dingle. Looks like he's dead. Oh, there he is. Having a nap with his two mums. The one in the back that just got up, that's his real mum. 
This one here, the 16, that's the one that we uh, sold her calf. So he's got two mums for now. Till the next Whitewood auction sale. Anyway, I guess we should go check this pen. And uh, I'll bring you back in a bit. Bunch of heavy breathing old women in here. Talk to you in a few. I just went over here and slid that slid that panel over a little bit. Hi, buddy. You're kind of a curly little guy. So this guy will be uh, a black red carrier. So if he breeds a red cow, if he turns out and we sell him as a bull, he'll be, uh, hi. He will uh, throw red calves on red cows. So a little tit for tat for you. Anyway, I'm going to leave him alone. He's like a deer on ice. Fuck, he's big. Whew. Look at that. Man, he's a monster. Nice, I like that. Get going to the back. Oh, yeah, look at that. See? See that back teeth is cleaned right mm. off. Nice. Anyway, I'll bring you back later, guys. I'm heading back to the shop. Okay, so... I got... Well, you can't see because the sun's coming through the window. But um, what I'm doing with these is putting a grease zerk in there and the old homemade bushing. And everything's good there. Check this out, boys. Nice! Okay, now give me one minute. I'm just going to spin you like this. Maybe I'll put you right there. And I hope that's cooled off enough. Okay, so, oh. now this little guy, come on, baby. Ah. Look at that bushing, boys, isn't that nice? Oh, she's nice. There we go. All right. Give you the old tilt-a-whirl there, but anyways. So now, when I get the tire on, the tire, uh, I gotta make some sort of a dealio here that will hold this piece in, and then you just pull a pin out, and then this piece will flip up. So I think she's coming together pretty good so far. So once you pull the pin out and set it on the ground, the tire goes up here, okay? When you jack the back end up, this piece will go down, and then you can put that pin back in and then that'll hold the that'll hold the frame up off the ground and down the highway zing 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 so anyways there's one uh i was just just uh in the middle of tapping this hole here and um i'll get her tapped in get the grease nipple on there and then I'll come back over to this side and I'll cut those holes and we'll get the plates and pins and away we go. Tires will be on. Got to figure out somehow on the back. Got to find some bolts for there for the hitch on the front there and then I should be golden. I can yank it out. I, uh, I jacked it up on the front here as high as it go and then the fucking hitch fell on my foot. That was really painful. Um, I had it up about, I don't know, 8 inches, 10 inches, and I got underneath there, and I filled all that all in with the weld there, and that far side, right there. I have to do the middle yet, so once I get it out and tires on, then I think what I'll do is just come in with the tractor, lift it up, probably even go on here, lift it up enough that I can get under the middle there, so that's the plan. Get her tapped here, and I'll bring you back. All right, guys, well, hopefully you enjoyed this part of the vidya. Getting the old tires on the old girl. Now I can get it the hell out of here. So that's what I did. There's our cantilever. So this, I'm going to cut this off eventually and put a collar on here. Uh, then I don't have to worry about having it stick way out like this. But, I mean, whatever. It's not really going to hurt anything way out there. Um, this here, 
I had this pointy piece and that was all I had left for a three inch flat bar. I used up, oh shit, I used uh, 10, 12 feet of it someplace. All them little pieces and gussets and all these little guys in there where I built all this up like that and put them bushings in. And actually I made the bushing out of that three inch flat bar. Uh, gusseted all this stuff up underneath there. All this I boxed in. So now what you do, uh, well I'll show you in the next video how about, but you just jack it up, take the weight off, and then you, uh, this is actually gonna be our clip in here, and then you just pull this bolt out. I'm gonna drill a hole and it'll be like a pin. Pull the bolt out and then let the trailer down on the ground, and uh, this tire will just come up like this. Cause it's gonna pivot on here. So that's all it does, and that way you can go up and down. But I have to, uh, I, I think I got enough hitch weight. She's fairly heavy on the front here yet, so. And by the time I get these steel doors built and plywood on the inside, here and here, and then do all the doors and the back door and the back wall and plywood there and on the inside and so on. So I think she's gonna be pretty sweet. But uh, anyway, guys, I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Apparently I tried Facebook one day and I got a whole bunch of people that found me on there. So it's uh, it's under Ryan Catler. It's not Straight Pipe Acres on there. But uh, anyways. So yeah. That'll be it for this video. So I'm going to, I got to get this on here yet. And then I'm going to get Ashley to do a little test run. Uh, just out in the yard and we'll see how it trails and whatnot and yeah good enough so anyway thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one